Its benefits are the leaves are highly nutritious. A lot of places it's very difficult to grow vegetable gardens, it takes a lot of water, a lot of labor. And this is a tree that can grow when you just pick the leaves off and boil them and add it to your staple diet. Um, it's also extremely drought tolerant. So once you establish the trees, it doesn't need a lot of work. Yeah, they said the last rain was in January, so. Uh, yeah, it's coming up in nine months. Yeah. And they haven't watered them at all. So yeah, on top of being so drought resistant and being a, a perennial vegetable that you don't have to replant every year, um, like Chris said, chaya is really among the, the most nutrient dense vegetables that we've, that we've come across so far. Uh, it's just a, just an incredibly nutritious vegetable. And so it can make a, a big impact in, in people's baseline nutrition, which then has a, has a effect also on a lot of their other disease resistance and, uh, just overall health. Um, and for, for young children too, if you don't get adequate nunition in the first five years of your life, you have stunted growth and you'll never, never recover from that. Yeah. And in many ways, this is like a green meat. Yeah. What could say. Yeah. It provides a lot of the same nutrients, uh, but in a form that people can grow in their backyard with really minimal inputs. The, the great thing about working with women's co-ops, uh, one of the great things is that we get to impact um, them on, on the community on two levels, really. So we can create a cooperative project, um, which has the, the potential uh, to become even a, a commercial project that, that brings money into the community. Um, and that's really exciting for a lot of these women's co-ops that may, might not have a lot of income generating opportunities in the rural, rural areas. Uh, but at the same time as we're doing that, we bring in the chaya cuttings and we, we create experiences uh, for the co-ops where the women can really discover what an amazing plant this is and how, how it can help them do what they already want to do, which is to put good food on the table and, and see their kids grow up strong and, uh, and allow them to do that much more easily uh, than a lot of the other alternatives. When we plant these gardens uh, with the Women's Cooperative, not only are we planting a garden cooperatively, but most of the women then go home with a few cuttings of their own and plant in their, in their kitchen gardens. And that's really exciting for me uh, to see them uh, just get excited about this plant and, and see how it, how it can help them just in their daily lives and their daily diets.